Over the last four years, we've been uh, undertaking courses that have been aimed at uh, professionals working in the uh, National Park, um, including architects, surveyors and builders. The courses were originally aimed at the professional side of things, um, but we've had quite a number of homeowners who have asked if they could join the course, and the courses have been um, very popular. Uh, we've had uh, great feedback from the architects and surveyors because there's nowhere else they can go uh, to get this sort of uh, information. It's an incredibly valuable opportunity to get knowledge that just isn't available elsewhere. And the depth of knowledge that these guys have got from the years and years of experience they've had in, uh, in the industry is just invaluable. Um, and the opportunity to be able to question them. Because of course, if you go online and get this sort of information on, online, you know, there are YouTube things and all that sort of stuff that you can look at, but you can't question it and, uh, and ask them, and you've got the opportunity they're here. We rely heavily on the input from conservation officers. It'd be really nice to have that knowledge ourselves so when we're going around to see clients, we can assess the property, kind of get a better understanding of how it's the historic fabric, how it's been built, and what we need to do to safeguard some of those materials. And to see the demonstrations was really helpful. Just to have that little bit of insight helps our aspect professionally, um, but it also helps the client have a bit more trust in us that we can give off them some advice on maybe what is historic and what isn't, how to protect that um, and how that falls in line with conservation and planning law. By having a body of knowledge to, to draw from we can give advice in a much more informed way. The opportunity to, to share that information with other people that are both in the profession and householders or, or just people that are interested, I think enthuses people into the whole subject of conservation uh, and changes their mindset. Uh, they suddenly start thinking about uh, the, the very difficult decisions that be, need to be made when you're when dealing with historic um, buildings and these sorts of courses um, reinforce people's interest um, and their perception uh, of the way that we ought to be thinking and dealing with the, our historic um, infrastructure. These people you know, learnt these skills from, from generations passing one to the other uh, and then to just let all that go now I think is just a, a crying shame.